Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler. This is Raj. We are asked with many series of questions that uh, my tutorials are uh, usually uh, advanced tutorials. Uh, Mr. Venkates, he asked us to create a basic tutorial from the beginning to the end. So you can start with the basic one, non-parametric tutorials to the advanced level. We are going to cover all the tutorials, all the basic options available with the family, Revit family. So this is going to be a series of families until which covers all the tutorials. It's going to be a basic playlist from the beginner to the advanced level. So stay tuned. So I hope this helps you and leave your comment if it uh, anything else you wanted to add in this series. In this tutorial, particular tutorial, we're going to watch non-parametric family creation. So from uh, for a beginner who starts with the Revit architecture or maybe MEP, so who needs to learn it as a basic one, non-parametric family, how to create a table. Let's start the tutorial. Start with a new family file. I used to start with the generic model family file. So it's a template RFT file. Just click open. Once it is opened, you could close the all the background views and change your family type and category so it is a furniture change the furniture and save the family as your required location and the backup file will be one so you can know that this is the center axis and it is mentioned as define origin tick option it will be pinned by default at any time you can change the location always i work with minimum two views it will be more helpful at the beginning time at least so better you keep two views side by side under view tab you can see tile views which helps us to keep the views side by side i used to work with front view and the plan view that will be more helpful for us so let's start with the extrude so we are going to create a leg of a table so it is a small object which is uh, one portion which we are trying to create is uh, you can specify as much as you need it i'm going to specify as uh, 150 as a leg size as a rectangle leg, leg size 155 150 so if you feel that it is bigger so you can change that as per your required dimensions once one leg is done you can copy that same leg to the other side we will be having four legs for a table let's copy this and you can specify your exact dimensions in the direction you needed i hope you know the basic tools copy move all the tools i'm going to place it a uh, 3000 distance as a part so there is a leg length also we have to make sure that by pressing the i dimension so we have to reduce the 150 so again move it back to the 150 so that it will be 3000 apart so the two legs can be copied over again to the bottom side to the distance of 1000 and we have to reduce the dimensions you can apply the formula directly in the entry by specifying the equal let's check the dimensions if it works with thousand it's okay let's finish this extrusion and see that how the like extrusion will be created you can see that in the front view for that purpose only we have kept it both the views side by side you can stretch the levels as the datum level as long as you need it you can select the extrude particular leg and you can change their extrusion n value or you can use the grip to change it change their height so i'm directly entering the value or i can specify by using the grips both are possible i'm going to specify the height value as 900 let's open the 3d view and to check that whether it is looking fine and change their realisticness to realistic and shaded to view the difference and hidden line the visibility options we have come back to the 
same floor plan and we have the legs now we have to create the top the table top so again it's a simple extrusion so we can start with extrude and do a rectangular shape which is along the uh, sides of the legs and do lock it so you can do a lock and you can do a constraint if you need it and in this uh, a small uh, non-parametric family doesn't require I will keep this as 50 as the thickness of the table and you can see that it is in the bottom of the level I wanted to keep that in the top of the leg so I will use the set work plane and pick a plane to the top of the leg and it will open us it will ask us to open the level so that it will go to the floor plan open the view so now you can see in the front view the pink lines it moved to the upside so now if you finish it automatically the table location will be the table plate will be placed on the top of the leg you can measure their dimension and see that it's a 50 millimeter now there are only two things we have done so i wanted to keep a junction box in between the table for our electrical accessories for a wire and socket so it's better to keep editing the same extrusion and draw a rectangle shape as per your dimension requirement once the dimensions got changed you can finish the extrude I like to keep the dimension as uh, our requirement you can see the error it's overlapping each other it should not overlap each other we can keep some distance finish it in the same extrude we have done the uh, hole you can see that clearly Let's close the 3D view, come back to the normal plan. So we want to close the opening of the junction box locations. We wanted to create a, another extrude on top of it and create the uh, closing enclosure, maybe a wood or maybe a steel plate on top of it. So it will have an offset from the level. You can press a space to flip in between the lines, inside line or outside line. You can see that in the front view also the extrude with the same thickness of 50 it's filling the gap actually we have made a two millimeter gap in between the two objects so that it will be visible more clear edit the extrude i wanted to keep some hole to give a gap between opening and closing so we wanted to keep a shape which help us to create it you can slice the line to to make a trim and extend slice the two lines circle in the line use the trim and extend to trim and do a extrude the extrude will be finished perfectly now if you see that in the 3d view now we will have a clear edge which help us to open the junction box that's it it's a simple family non-parametric family we have done as a whole now if you select that you can see always the count in the bottom side and you can go ahead and assign the material directly from the instance property window you can select it or otherwise you can assign the parameter on the right side button there are two buttons click the button inside to assign the material I like to create a new material, a wood material. I like to rename this as a wood. So in Autodesk, by default, you will have a, a material asset library from asset grouping. You can take the material as you need it, maybe a appearance material or maybe a, a thermal material as per your wish. In this case, I need a visual material for appearance purpose. So I like to search for 
the material which is a wood once it is assigned you can see that the material got changed you can change that into a realistic and you will be able to save the project again so now it's as much as what we needed if you need you can assign that as a separate material also for the junction box and i'm going to test this with the project so i'm starting with a new project with the any template and i'm going to load this family into the project by using the load into project option the family will be loaded and you can see that the origin of our hand will be in the center axis position and you will be able to see the name of the type the name of the family on the top and the type on the bottom you can place it and you can go back to the family and create a new type so i like to keep that their dimension on their type name so it's a standard dimensions what we have given 3000 into uh, 1000 so 3000 into 1000 you can mention it as in millimeter select ok and if you need any other parameters to be filled you can fill for us it is bimmodeler.com is our website select ok once it is done you can load that into the project to see that your type save load into project so it will ask these questions override the existing version with the parameter and you can see that second type as our created one now if you see that our family got placed and i can create a similar one now if i if you see that i can press the space bar to rotate it along our origin place so this is a basic family and uh, i'm explaining you how it works in rivet so this is the origin so how do we change the origin we are able to change the origin it's possible and you, you have to create the reference plane wherever you need it and you have to change it you can see the in project it is as a furniture under non-parametric table it's created now you can see the families types which is not needed you can delete the type which is not needed and you can keep only the family type which is required coming back to the family as i mentioned i like to uh, change their origin which help us in this case i like to keep the origin in the middle of the table on the top side so i like to create the similar reference plane from the center and i will be assigning this reference plane as the origin so whenever i select this option automatically the other previous one origin will be changed into non-origin object override that now if you do a create similar of the same family now this time our hand will be on the center of top center of the table so as simple it is you can change the origin of the family it applies to any family so as of now i don't need it i can delete the reference plane and then come back to the previous settings what we have now if i do a create similar again testing it it's working perfect Now I like to create a schedule which help us to identify our objects. The furniture schedule which help us to uh, make a count or later time for the quantity takeoff we can use. I will add the family and family type categories as the parameters requirement. You can add the parameters into your project. So move it up and down. So this is our parameters list. You can stretch it along the way so I'll be explaining this uh, scheduling part as separate tutorial will be more helpful but in this case it's enough for us I hope this helps you 
and we are going to next watch a non parametric chair family on the next tutorial if you are feeling that this helps you give a thumbs up and share it with your learning friends that help us and supports us have a great day Thank you.